Hey everyone, today I'm going to look at the Super 7 Reaction Transformers action figures and today I've got two from Wave 3 which I really liked where they are Blaster and Dirge so let's take a look at these in the packaging first so again, brilliant artwork it's just a shame that when you open it you completely destroy it and discard the packet but yeah, that is a really cool picture of Dirge right there with Cybertron in the background and this figure is really cool, it's got the yellow aeroplane wings right there and yeah the mould is very unique so let's take a look at the rest of the figures so wave 1 and wave 2, I haven't got any from wave 1 I really wanted to focus on some other characters so wave 2, I'll show these later at the end I've got Grimlock uh, and Jetfire or Skyfire and wave 3 the only ones that really interested me were Dirge and Blaster. So, but you can also get Perceptor, and you've also got Blitzwing right here. So, yeah, then they're, they're really cool characters. And um, let's take a look at the other one. So, Blaster on the Autobot side. Again, really cool artwork. Shame. I think it's the same background in both, isn't it? Yeah, that Cybertronian skyscraper right there. And on the back, the same, because they're both from Wave 3. So, let's take a look inside, and at the end of the video, I'm going to put all the figures I've got side by side, and uh, you can take a look. So, yeah, these are Wave 3. I've reviewed um, 2, 4, and 5. The reason why I didn't do this in order is because I was waiting for Blaster. It was quite tricky to find this guy because of, well, ever since COVID, I think it's been harder to get toys and import ones, especially... So it took a while to come through. But anyway, I finally got him. So let's get this open. Okay, here we are. So let's take a look at Dirge. It's looking great. Uh, the gun is a little bit bent. Uh, and it's straighter on this side. So it's some factory issues. Smooth. Goes all the way around. On some figures, the shoulder pads all can block the movement. But here it goes all the way around. And look at that. It's almost kind of, you know, almost looks like a plane in that way anyway, like transformed or even like that. So you can even just, you know, play play with it in that way. Um, the legs go all the way up. I'm not sure what back. Yeah, it's kind of stuck on this part here. So it's got limited articulation. That's fine. I'm not really sure I'd ever have Dirge posed with his legs all the way up anyway. So there we go. And he stands quite well. Some of the earlier ones, I think they've improved the figures because some of the earlier ones, like Skyfire, doesn't balance very well at all. This one, Blaster. I'm looking forward to this guy. He's really cool. So I can already see there's some kind of... Let me just put some detail on there. So yeah, there's like a random dab of yellow here, some paint here and some paint there. Uh, I don't really know what that is either. But... A random dot there which is a shame because these figures are simple and it is 2022 so you know production wise there shouldn't really be that many issues with these figures again just you know it's very simple just paint a semicircle and I think the fact that you get these dabs means you know the factory's doing them too quickly um, at a lower quality sadly but overall you know not to put a dampener on things the figure the design of the figure is really streamlined, really simplified, cartoon accurate, and you know, this is Blaster. It looks really cool. Okay, so arms, yep, they can go all the way around, there's nothing blocking. And again, it's similar to Dirge and most other figures where this part stops the back leg from going up. No, there's nothing on the back. Maybe they could have done something cool on the back. Okay. But yeah, he's looking great, and he comes with two accessories. So we've got this gun here, let's put this one in like that, there we go, that's quite a nice fit. And this other gun here, let's put that one right there. I love the accuracy to the G1 cartoons of these figures, I mean, that is just, you know, and they're done in this retro style as though, you know, for adults today who had kids from the 90s, that kind of style, but you know, a bit more modernised for 2022, and I, I really like the style. Right then, let's take a zoom back, 
check these guys in action nice so you know again I'm pretty happy with these um, and they look really well together so let's give these guys a little spin let's get that a bit quicker actually and um, I will put on some other figures soon okay so I'm gonna get a hot rod Galvatron, Skyfire, Jetfire, got RC, and I got Grimlock in both of his dinosaur and robot mode. Okay, let's get these figures. So I've got some uh, base pads to put on. So for extra stability, let's see. Oh, that slides in really smoothly. So here we go. Just to stop them from falling over. And let's put this one in here. That one's a bit tougher. Maybe try the other one. That one's, <laughs> that one's even tougher. But it kind of screws into place. And it's fine. So here we go. Uh, let's add in a few more. So let's add in Hot Rod and let's add in his enemy, Galvatron. Let's put that guy here next to Dirge and I've got RC. Awesome figure. Love it. Skyfire, Jetfire. So I really wanted to focus on the G1 characters, but I really like the design of this guy. So, eh, what the hey? And Grimlock here. So, yeah, I've nearly got a collection of the main characters from after Transformers the movie, and the new characters came and took over. Uh, I don't know if it'll fit just about. Hey, there we go. Robot Grimlock. Uh, t the T Rex Grimlock right there. So I'm really hoping for to complete the rest of the characters. Ultra Magnus, Cup, Springer. Um, I've already got a small wheelie from a DNA upgrade kit, which I reviewed earlier. Uh, and I'd look to get the main characters uh, from the season three onwards. So yeah, I mean, these are some, when placed together, they look really cool as a set. Uh, and I do recommend them, especially if you know you just want a shelf decoration. You know you're not too fussed about getting some big Voyager class Transformers figure, and you just like you know some memories of the show. These are absolutely perfect for that. Whoop! Grimlock just turned there because he's massive sword. So yeah, there you go. Let me know if you like this video. Give it a like. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and subscribe for more reviews.